How much do you want your wedding to cost? My thing is not a cost thing. It just needs to Say be... Say that up, but we know, we know. Come on, come on. I want two weddings. I want one hair and I want one abroad in South Africa. Okay, so you've roughly done the costings, roughly. I haven't done the cost. But roughly, roughly, roughly. Probably like 600k. Probably even... <gasps> Probably like, what, what, what currency are we talking about? Pounds. Yeah. Probably like 500k. Wedding? 400k. Wedding? 350. Wedding? How much? Uh, you're what? trolling me, you're trolling me. Why am I going down? You're trolling How me. How much do it cost? A wedding. Yeah, my dress, my bridesmaids, my, my car, my people, my hair, like, my ring. Are we even feeling the whole thing? Yeah. Welcome back to the channel if you're new here. Welcome to the channel. And don't forget to sign up to the channel. So you know what's crazy about this? He said the word wedding multiple times. Or maybe she has a problem understanding the word wedding. So now imagine, I think those these women probably just getting married just just for the wedding, right? Now imagine you get married and then you're going to live in an apartment. All this money, six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand. You can buy a house. But some of them they don't think like that. You just want expensive stuff. Or maybe she doesn't know what she's talking about. I've been dating someone pretty intensely for the last six weeks. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful. It was full. We were full of conversation and laughter and friendship and all these wonderful things. But for various reasons, we're just at different life stages and doesn't necessarily have a long term compatibility. So I know it was the right decision for us to end it, but I'm also sad because it was really fun and I don't want that to stop. Um, but it's also annoying <laughs> that it didn't work out and I have to go back to dating because it's really hard. Oh, really? So the person that she is talking about, I think she was dating a young man, right? She, I think she was dating a young man, but she, she thought it was going to last. Those young men probably don't want to take you serious. If you have something that they want, they might, just, they might just go out with you just to get whatever that they might need from you. But the funny thing is, she probably left her husband. I don't know what happened in her relationship, but she probably left her husband because she was getting attention from young men. Hey, listen, sometimes they have to learn the hard way. Don't get me wrong, I love being single and I love living alone. It's great, it's fantastic, but fuck, it's expensive. Ah! I just spent $600 on brakes on my car, just on the front part of the car, because I couldn't afford all four brakes and axles and rotors and whatever the fuck. And then now I just paid my car payment, which is $500, so I just blew $1,100 in like three hours and it wasn't even like fun you know fuck <laughs> sorry it's just so overwhelming like you work and 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 it's just to pay off like your basic necessity <laughs> ah and you can't like in this city that i live in public transport please if I were to do public transport, it's like asking to get raped and I really shouldn't be crying because now I have to go to another work event and now I'm going to be all puffy. It, I'm just... Living is so expensive. Just keeping yourself alive and floating is so expensive. And what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted is if I were to take public transport here, especially for my job, my job requires a car. I have to have a bunch of shit that I have to lug with me for work. And I can't do that with public transport. Just, I'm venting. Inflation sucks. Just living in America sucks. Living alone sucks. It's great, but it sucks. Because you have to front all the expenses by yourself. I need a husband just so that I can live. Oh, oh. Here I come. <laughs> so we can split the bills. Don't get me wrong. 
And so this will be looking for a husband for the wrong reasons. He just want a husband so the husband can pay all the bills or maybe pay half of the bill. Now listen, it is hard for everybody, but if it's two of us doing it, it might be a little bit easier. But some don't want to do that. They would rather work like two or three jobs instead of working with a man where well, a man saying that is good to 50. But there's no, there's, there's no such thing as a 50-50. Somebody will always do more, but they don't like hearing that they, they have to go 50-50 with a man. Ladies, the strong black woman narrative is a scam. Wake up. I had a good run. I did everything the society told me to do. I worked really hard. I damn near broke my back. I paid all my bills. I put everybody else first. I told men I was independent. I did it, and I did it to say that I won nothing from it. I literally did not win any special awards. My life has not changed drastically. So now I'm going to reclaim my time, okay? When you see me now, know that I'm a soft babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am so tired of being a strong, independent black woman. Can somebody please, can somebody's son please come free me? On behalf of all the independent girls worldwide, I'm here to say that we are tired. In fact, let me speak for myself. I am tired. I'm tired of worrying about my own hair, worrying about paying for my own nails, worrying about what I'm going to eat, paying for what I'm going to eat, paying my bills, fixing my own car, paying my own rent, doing everything by myself. Like, I need to want to share my worries with me. I need to be taken care of. Like, guys, I'm so exhausted. Like, Look, those women, they don't really want a partner. They want somebody to pay their bills. So if you if you encounter somebody like this and then this is the only reason that they want to be in a relationship with with you, you should run. Now look how many times men been telling those women it's not easy doing it by yourself, but they have the mindset where they, where they think that they can do anything that a man do. They don't need no help. They can do it all by themselves. Well, I'm gonna say I wish them all the best. Just keep keep doing you. Wow! Look at God. How you doing, beautiful? I'm good. Wow. What's your name? Cash out. Cash out? Yep. <laughs> That's actually really funny. That's really funny though. What's it? I'm JB Cash out. JB Brown. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, you even shake my hand with the wrong hand. You started off with the wrong foot in the wrong hand. What's your real name? Apple Pay. Apple Pay? Seriously? Mm-hmm. So, okay, what's the name that like your parents gave you? 450. <laughs> Got a sense of humor. I'm trying to tell you. Okay, uh, 450 cash app. All right. If I was trying to get to know you, like your character, I see you're funny. Like, like, okay, tell me something like this. Like, what do you do? What do you do for a living? Right now, I'm in between jobs. We're in between jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see how this is going. All right, I ain't gonna hold you, but um, maybe I can have your number. Well, my phone's off, so that'll be eighty dollars. Your phone. Is so she she said her phone. I know I know this one is a skit, right? But she's saying her phone is off. What do you guys think she is using to record this? But let's get back into it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. Okay, check it out. Um, I was gonna give you my number, and I see where this is kind of going, and I ain't gonna hold you. Here you go. Take that. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Two hundred dollars. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. Wow. Excuse so you don't want my number no more? I'm good. Maybe go buy your personality. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, she, she, she should be happy that she gave her $200. She can do a lot with that $200. She can go pay her phone bills and stuff with that $200. But I know this is a, this is a skit, but there's some truth to this. This is how dating is becoming. Before we start talking, you got to pay. This is just crazy. <laughs> Well, if that's the truth, if she didn't do anything on the ex-husband, just left her for young women, this is one. And there's another thing she said, she's asking us if she is beautiful. So make sure you guys comment down below. Go tell this woman she is beautiful. And I think she, she probably just doing it. I think she probably just doing this for, for, for attention. I went on her page. All her video is kind of similar, kind of similar to this, asking people telling people to tell her if she is beautiful so make sure you guys go on her page and show show, show her some love 
Women today that wear wigs and weaves all the time are insecure about their natural hair. Simply untrue. Is that untrue? <laughs> yes, it is. So if you're insecure about your hair, why do you need fake hair? Because you want to wear it. What's your issue? It's free no, no, will. That's not the reason why you put it on, though. Yes, no, it yes, it is. That's it's like, oh, this makes you. No, no, no. I'm going to put it on. Why do you want to, though? Okay, so because it's cute. cute. Do you wear that shirt because you're insecure about walking around shirtless? Like, no, oh, that's a good one. No, I, 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 I can take my clothes off right now. That's not a problem. They don't have to wear wigs all the time, but they can if they want to. No, no, that's not the same. Because the, the same? thing about it is, I don't have natural clothes that come out of my body. You have natural hair that comes out of your body. Okay. Are you bald? <laughs> Nigga, what? No, no, are you, are you bald? <laughs> no. Exactly, so you were not born bald, right? Okay. So... You have hair that comes out of your scalp. Why not wear that? Why do you have to put the fake hair in there? I can. I know you can, but why do you do it? I don't know if you guys notice this. I think this hair that he has on, this thing, is also fake hair. Do you guys think this is his real hair? But there's another thing. The, the thing about those fake waves, some women use, use uh, some women wear it to protect, to protect their hair, but some just have them on because they're probably insecure about their natural hair. But a lot of men prefer natural hair. But some women think when they do have the fake hair, all the sexual stuff, they think that's when they are beautiful. But most of the time, it is not the case. When you hear a woman says, I can do without a man, it's no problem. It only means that's a foolish word. You can't we can't live this life without men. I know you are a feminist and you will, you can't, the much I know you can't kill me for saying that statement. You will talk, but you will not kill me. We can't live in this world without war. Wait until your car has a flat tire in the middle of nowhere and vehicles are passing. Have you ever seen a woman stop to help you? Normally, who stops to help you? A man drives and pulls aside and say, Madam, I am so and so. Do you need help? Have you ever seen a woman walk out of his car, car to come and help you fix your tire? In fact, it is when you have a flat tire that you appreciate that God, thank you, you created what? Man. You can't be women only who desire men when you're in need of, of the strength of a man. And it becomes useless when you feel you're financially empowered. No. But you also want a child at the same time. <laughs> you don't want men, but you want a what? Don't you think you're stupid? You, you, you don't want men, but you want a what? <laughs> <laughs> and you'll hear these women walk in town and say, me, I can live without a man, but Akunam Toto is a, is a single parent. I, I can live, you think they bought from, from, from Tuskies. I can live without a man. When you hear a woman says, I can do without a man, there's no problem. It only means that's a foolish word. Well, she is, she is not lying. She is telling the truth. But some people are going to, some women are going to be mad about what she said. But she's simply telling the truth. Like if a, if a woman have a flat tire, the first person that would pull over and ask her if she need help, most of the time is a man. I don't think another woman is going to stop and ask you if you need help. She probably don't even know how to change her, her tire herself. So some women think that they don't need they don't need men but in reality we need each other so make sure you guys comment down below what you think about this as always i do appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time to watch your video if you're new here once again welcome to the channel and before you leave don't forget to send some love to the channel hey, listen i'm out